Oh, okay. Um, oh, sorry about the delay on that one. I had a little bit of a hiccup when I accidentally opened it to Cyberpunk 2077. Somehow I opened Cyberpunk 2077 twice and they were delaying each other, so I had to wait for the system to stabilize a bit before I could close one of the things. Alright, welcome everyone. I'm Dollar Free. And let's just dive right back into Cyberpunk 2077. Now, last time I played this was, what, two weeks ago? It's a bit of a short hey, stream hey, there. Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Ooh, yep. hold on. What's going on? There I was cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. What yeah, is going yeah, I on? I shouldn't have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients, but hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I... Right! The power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short cirqued. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. Okay. The NCPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages, all in all. The real tragedy, though... I can't stomach a cold burrito. Sorry, I'll just check in. 20 million eddies? Hot damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. Sorry, I'm just checking you YouTube. It's, uh, OBS is saying, hold on. Is the stream okay? Let's have a quick look. Seems to be okay so far. Hold on, just a moment. What's going on here? YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, as such viewers will experience buffering. Just a moment, let's just test some things out. Moving around in the menu at the moment. Alright, and let's quickly pop into the inventory, load some things up. Okay, and then we'll pop back out and we'll go to the main game. Jump around a bit. Okay. So far seems okay. Maybe it might have just been that temporary hiccup just due to... I don't know, that initial like sp lag spike that I had. I'll keep an eye on things on my end. If it, it starts getting bad, I'll try restarting the stream, see if that helps. Alright, come on, Takamura. What do you want? You've got your little Jackie walk going we on. We must just climb up here. Oh. Wow. Oh, I hit the barbed fire. Now the barbed wire. Way. Okay. Yeah, that'd be about right. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I thought, I thought I saw a little bit of looting. Okay. Alright, what do you want, Takamura? That's right, we've got to try and steal a balloon, don't we? Whoa. Whoa. 
I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? All right. Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. Oh, come on. Nothing wrong if with pizza. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. Ah, uh, uh, fair enough, but... No, even better. With umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once. Pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. All right, so. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. All right, so we try it. We've got a sneaky path in. We must be aware of the mech. Yep. So there's a mech there. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Got eyes in the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. What else can we scan? Uh... Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. All right, so we've got potential service tunnel pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. So we've got some options. We could uh, sneak in through the little hole here, jump into the security building, cause a bit of sabotage. Max out in the open, but if we can sneak into the service tunnels, we could probably get in that way. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? All right, possibly with a truck going through the pipes. There's a couple of options, but we don't want to be going in through the front door. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kanpeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Okay, all right. So we're going to wait for night time here. <coughs> oh, oh, great. What? Relic's going out. No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. Oh, 
Uh, Bakaneko. Bakaneko. What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. All right. My grandmother knew many, many stories about relic. Seems to have stabilized Kappa. that though. Back in Echo Two. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba Eleven. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I. Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Oh, uh, military service? Let me guess. So they could turn them into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. Um, how do you get to be so a corporal rookie go from cleaning yeah. latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka Sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka Sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. I mean, okay. To be fair, if you're in that situation, whatever puts it food on your table. To keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. Oh come on! What the I hell? Did not what would you understand path. about the life? Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Chibo 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Yeah. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world. Forget everything. Uh, listen, it's like... Effectively, whoever sits in charge if, has enough say over what society looks like. In a dystopian timeline, like what Cyberpunk is, it's simply corporations that get to set that. You know, you might argue that in current society it's governments, but then you've got lobbyists. You know dodgy activities that sometimes go on depends on where you are 
it's it's about who has control over that power and you can understand where Johnny sort of comes from in the sense that you're trying to disassemble that power structure by any means necessary taking down the corpse and then let people figure it out for themselves afterwards nomads aren't lone wolves with egos whether they're blood or not family comes first yes but we need not quibble over details on the other hand, Takamura's got the experience of growing up in Do that corporate environment. you know what I think? So... What's that? That day in Kanpeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. In a way, he's also kind of right. Takamura lost his boss, the person who sort of raised him up or had a hand in raising him up out of nowhere. Whereas we've lost Jackie, who's our best friend, kind of person who helped us, you know, we, we bonded over our shared experiences. I, I do think, you know, this is like the super aggressive, I don't like you ever Takamura sort of answer, but it, this is more like, kind of get you. starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. Alright, are uh, we doing a little time skip here, waiting towards... Night time? I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. Uh, yeah, no, trust me, I feel bad. Alright, looks like we're stabilizing out a bit. Oh, okay. And would you believe half of this EXP booster that's been sitting in the corner that was just hand out for some reason is gone already just due to a cutscene. I'm still a kind of myth that they don't let me jump in the elevator. Come on, like just let me let me have a bounce. One, come on. No. Uh. And then it stops, and then we get to. So we've got a couple options. We can steal a truck. We could try breaking in. Let's not to worry too much about the truck. Alright, jump up. Jump up here. We got spotted there just a fraction, but we're good otherwise. Ooh, that got pretty close. That's right, I don't have a way to hack this system.
If need be, I'll just drop. Alright, let's just go. Huh. What can I do here? We can't afford it. Yes. I'm an officer. An officer who works the third guard shift at a warehouse outside town. You'll have to make do. And the children will have to make do with a school we can afford. That's the mech. That's the person standing guard there. Not sure why there's a ladder onto the roof. I don't know if there's a way up. Yeah, we don't have a way to get into the building from the roof by the looks of it. down what is that fire extinguisher had it right got an access point to the security systems excellent I am also making progress let's grab some food. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun, my friend. President Myers decided Militech, that is the NUSA, would fight to the bitter end. Picture the scene. Alright, what can we do from here? Alright, now let's try to find... Can't do anything with that. Interesting, I got spotted there. Alright, let's just walk this way. So, we... We can do something here. Whatever this is. Alright, that's just a... Reading material. Don't worry about it, let's go down. That's the mech outside. Okay, what can we do? We just need to watch out. 
I can see someone walking that way. But we cannot forget corporations are Night City's largest tax base, contributing seven hundred billion euro dollars last year alone. Oh. No. All right, we can see our person up here. Maybe I'm trying to get towards the service tunnel. That might be the best way to go. I don't know if he's going to move, though. He's, like, in a pretty good spot. Okay, he's moving. Let's hide. Uh-uh-uh. 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 Damn it, I got spotted. Whatever, we're gonna go in. I have no idea. I'm just going to wait here. Concentrate your mind. Because they're all just standing outside the building. Like, I've got no reason to go out. Now, the mech's still firing away. I'm um, not sure why. I mean, is that the mech or the turrets? Oh, he's alive. You're alive. Ah. Alright, well, what can I do? Is there a way down here somewhere? No. Ugh. 
Uh, yes, sorta. I'm still fine. Still fine. Yeah, well, alright, so I took out the map. Alright, well, they're gonna keep firing. We'll just keep looting some of the bodies that are around the place. Wow, the mech's only got T1 components as well. Uh, do you not see me just walking to you slowly? This guy is still trapped underneath the vehicle. Um, and then I think that's it. Yep, we'll just force this open. Okay, I'm in. I'm the largest float. They are controlled from inside. That tech, it could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. I'll use the ring. Oh. I'll reach the control room and make a turn. Extremist must be eradicated. I am ready. Where is another guy? Do I see movement? Oh, that's a bit messy. Listen, man, are you just trying to reboot my optics? Uh, 
Oh, that's a bit messy. Oh, where's another person? Oh, you. Oh. Okay, okay. It is... I was going to say somewhat, but it's not. It, it's like really satisfying. Flanking for me! It's like really satisfying just being able to... Keep shooting! I'm fine. I should be fine. Thank you. Neutralize the target. Head, keep firing. All right. So the knockdown was the revive. How has no one spotted me? Resistance is useless. Buddy, buddy. Hearing someone from in here. Hold on. Uh, might as well grab bits and pieces while I can. Drop your weapon and show yourself. Oh, hello, it's a drone. Time to slap it. Alright, time to start looking for loot. <sighs> Grab those. There should be a green one here. I. Hold on. Uh, come on. That's annoying. Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Teru kills. Even the room is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. B, you must hurry. I'm out of like a heavy approaches. Ah. Uh. There we go. It fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay. What now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, 
try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. All right, well, that was relatively quick. I, I won't say it was painless. Robot's down. That one's down. You're down. You're down. Hello? Ooh. And is that the job done? T2 item components. All right. I'm not sure if there's anyone else meant to be around here, but... Or is this all part of the Arasaka facility? Come out with your hands in the air. Oh, it is. Hold on, hold on. Can I have uh, a nice car to ride? Oh, this looks nice. Ah, hold on. Yep, yep, that works. Hold on, hold on, a little bit forward. Good. And then there's the other person who got stuck underneath. Now, there was a message that I missed. Cars for sale. Had our conversation. Just an image, no nuggets of Bushido wisdom. <laughs> what would you say to a little dinner together? A real one. Aren't you a little lonely? What would you say to some company? <laughs> I'm gonna go this one dinner, man. You, you gotta eat. Dear, all right, dear end card passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problem with your end card city pass has been resolved. Full access to all end card services has been restored. As compensation for this inconvenience, we've credited your end card account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any end card line free of charge until the end of the calendar year. 
We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with NCART again soon. Thank you for traveling with us, NCART customer support. Oh, that's right, this is part of that 2.1 update. That's right, in 2.1 update, they added a railway line or a monorail line. Or, you know, a metro line. You are receiving us at 103.5 Radio Pepcac. Do not change your frequency. Ah, I can't pick up anything. All right. All right, it's a little dented, but the car is otherwise serviceable. Now, what can we do with quests? Because we need to do something for the moment. Waiting for Judy to call us. We're waiting. You know what? Let's do this. The Alder Carlos. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw something on the marker. It's like a purple icon. Ooh, hold on. Alrighty, what are we dealing with up here? Oh, this is end card. And we can travel anywhere we like. Wow, that's pretty neat. So we're on the A rail line, we can go Santa Domenico to Watson or to Pacifica. We'll go to Watson. <laughs> yep. Surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional loss. I was going to say, this guy kind of looks like a Vic, but then Vic's a hell of a lot nicer than this guy. Against the Nomad's camps. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. Yeah, we can have a look around by rotating. Ah, okay. So we can choose to keep riding if we wanted to. Let's stand by the door, actually. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. Ah, oh, alright, I see how this works. It's just a fun little ride that you can do with the railway. Let's get off at the next stop. Wherever it is. Oh, we'll turn off the radio as well. That was what was going on.
Alright, what can we do from where we are? Oh, that's Judy's call. Judy, so, you got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Oh, uh... You know what? Tofu, tuna, and pineapple flavor. Uh, now there's two things that don't belong in the same sentence, let alone on the same pizza. You're kidding, right? If we're talking pizza, then I am dead fucking serious. I just picked that option because it had pineapple flavor. Of course I'll be there. All right. Damn it, I was hoping to try and steal the truck. Uh, we're gonna have to go this way, aren't we? I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there on foot, and I'm hoping... This isn't going to be that painful. I mean, I could drive, but... You know, I could drive my own car, but I'll just borrow this one. I'm surprised. I, okay, so one thing I've been just paying a little bit of attention to while doing all of that is there's a bunch of broken weapons on, now. Oh. Like... The weapon's broken. Okay, broken weapons are automatically disassembled down to T1 components. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Alright, so that's what it is. Instead of having your um, tier 1 weapons just lying around, probably if it's above a certain tier, it still remains in one piece. But if it's like tier 1, it just automatically gets scrapped. Taxi's handling all right. Still probably feels about the same as any other. Whoop.
Alright. Getting closer. Alright, now we're actually starting to zoom. Ah! Buddy! are also a bit more aggressive now with this patch. All units, suspect has evaded patrols. Resume search immediately. Alright, well, that answers that question. Oh, oh help me. Frame rates. Order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. All right, so we are at Judy's place. Now, Judy, what's your grand plan? Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. Yeah, you better have my pizza. I want the pineapple flavor. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. And you put away the pizza. Well, Bring it back. At clouds. Shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. Come here because you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? Okay, yeah, fair. Oh, hold on. Where's my... Oh. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Huh. Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, 
Make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Um... Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. The split-second processes that happen, logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. That you can't find a workaround. That doesn't sound that's great. It. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Yeah, I don't like the sounds of this plan, Judy. Like, how'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Michael's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds. Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Got to see it to believe. I, I'm really Finally, not sold on this plan. Said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Hmm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. If I'm to count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Oh, I want my pizza as well. Like, wanna spar? What else? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! <laughs> what the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some, some cardio! Say. Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Alright. Okay, <laughs> okay. That probably sells it. So the, the chip, chip works. works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Michael, what's your Bosses deal here? Give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. All right, who's Hiromi that? Sato. Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do Where we, do we find, find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Red Menace, Wouldn't it be better to ambush him in the street, like while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in the back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? He's probably crawling with guards. 
Hiromi don't go anywhere without security. So one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, okay. Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Rather not have to flatline anyone. What he said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. All right. Me, Judy. <sighs> Let's see where this Already leads. Let's see where this leads. While we wait for Takamura to sort himself out. Save the gratitude for later, please. <laughs> it's a bit I'll weird. Like, Judy's plan is so half baked. Even with the chip. Days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Like, even with Michael, the chip. Hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But eh, beh, beh. Not a word. All right, oh. ship's malfunctioning oh. again. Uh, v, everything okay? okay. V, v, you don't you look don't so hot. Uh, no, I'm not great. What the hell, V? You, you like, like sick? sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clip. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well. Long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Uh, might as Sounds well. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Yeah, I don't think I'm in a good condition at the moment. The relic's really going off. I mean, ah, it's going off from Takamura. Hold on, what's going on? Up, oh, relic's still going. I had to run, didn't want to wake you, left you some breakfast, eat up. Huh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Well, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Okay, so there's nine movies, deluxe limited edition collection of the Bushido movie series.
Okay. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an I'm expert to tell the gears stop. pro. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Alright, Takamura's ready. Let's get on with him. Oh, hold on. Let's eat that. Backpack. Uh, consumables. Let's eat that and drink the latte. Are you still trying to sell me on the food? Goro, you can't find anything because you're trying to send your message searches to me as messages. <laughs> Got a few ideas if you're feeling peckish. Pancakes at Tom's Diner. Ah, fair enough. And he probably would say no, he's not interested in Mexican. All right, let's go. Uh, we've got 1.2 k's to run in a generalized direction. Geronimo! Okay, we're gone. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was a bit of an unintended uh, Say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Food's done. Well, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. All right, and we'll just skip the rest. Sorry, don't mind me. Actually, we'll jump into this car.
I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Juggle. Hey, that was fun. Can't open that. Can't open that. Ah, it's just Maelstrom, folks. They're fine. They'll reassemble themselves. Which way are we going? Oh. Excuse me, can I um, borrow your vehicle? Thank you. Um, that was kind of to be expected. Mind you, the um, I, maybe it's a 2.0 change or a 2.1 change, but I don't. Is I don't know if the um, it's because I did inflict the damage to the civilian inside the car.
that or maybe it was just uh, something that's always been in the game and you know you're just like if you inflict damage to a civilian when you ram into their vehicle at high speed Let's go. By the way, we're here with... We're here waiting for Takamura. We'll get up to the rooftop markets. Still unable to jump in the elevator. Can't even stop this thing. Just in time. Hey, Goro. Wow, you look like a million eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a Scott burger. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what do you think? Tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. You know, Takamura, you really should try more of the food around here. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. high level, high level, high level. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. Climbing's fine. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit, we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, Bang! No more thing. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Yeah, uh, if, if we're trying to do this whole sneaky sneaky thing, I don't know how well that's gonna go. I'm ready. Question is, are you... Can I just like club him in the I face? This plan. Did I not? All the while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. You're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. Alright, so we've got to take out three snipers and then back up Goro. Alrighty, and... Yeah, okay, this does look impressive. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. Alright. Back inside. Back inside. You are close. 
Jones. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd, not his back. Oh no, I hit him. He's up there. I'm dead. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I entered the area and then immediately got knocked down. Alright, so is Adam Smasher in here? Because if he is, that's going to be problematic. I really hope Adam Smasher is. Don't look too stable. Sure Takamura didn't plan a little whoopsie-daisy for you? Fuck! Almost fell. Carefully, you must not draw attention. Okay.
Alright, we should be fine here. Sorry, it's just a few feet more and it's yours. Oh, what's happened here? Disarm that. Up here, it is on our game. Listen, we have enemy contact. I'm engaging. I'll be protected at once. Our Osaka is fully capable of protecting its principles. Ask your boss what he values more the Arasaka image or his sister's life. The situation is cast out for a doubt. Here, they know something, perhaps match. We must hurry. All right, let's just go. Administrator access token. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the floor jets, unless you intend to get cooked. I would keep my head low. Wow, you okay there, buddy? You could just T pose there. I think he's doing much patrolling at the moment. Roger that. White jacket. Confirmed. The hostile That will be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. 
one problem remains. And that is... The Arasaka Netrunner. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Uh, while I sort this out, what can I do? 1CE97A55? Can I do that? 1CE9... Let's try that. Thank you. Bit of extra cash. Always helpful. Okay, on my way. Mind you, this was the easiest, um... Third sniper. I... He stood next to the mines. It's not my fault. Who thought that was a really good position? Yeah, when you put down the mines, you're supposed to create a little bit of distance between yourself and, you know, where you're trying to defend yourself using said mines. Uh oh. Oh shit, not good. Now, B, I have our attention. Pull up, Harling. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! I want you. What's the distance? Stay away from his play. He will slice you like fish. You leave me no choice. Son of Tenoka! Bonk. Oh, it's knocked me down. Where is he? Oh, he's healing. Is he healing seriously? Okay, I can't find him. Alright, I guess we're doing this the slow way. I can't find him. There he is. There he is. Done. What is your status? I... I managed to... Oda, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. Alright, what are we doing here? Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. なぜとまったんだ。危険だと警告されたの。小田とも連絡が取れないし、何か変だわ。彼の抽出すれば弱さを露呈したと思われる。弱さ誰のあなたの俺たちだ。私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼する
お前の安全が第一だからな兄さんやり終えましょうありがとう花子せっかくの式典だ Alright, so we're listening. So, Yorinobu is the bar. Yeah, Yorinobu's currently in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, this is gone. This is gone really, really, really well. Well, now we're really fucked. Knew we couldn't trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We'd best dealt to the fuck out of here. Let's just run. Yeah, that went a bit pear shaped. P, are you secure? Yeah, for now. Lost your fucking mind. There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block of Vine Street, second floor, number 303. Knock four times. Hurry. <laughs> All right, uh, just before we do that, let's level up a bit. So I can put one attribute point, which we're going to put into intelligence. Body-wise, that's right, adrenaline rush is there. Oh, I like that. Shotguns, LMGs, HGMGs. Block, hit him with a power attack. And then blades. Ah, uh, no, we're still fine. I'm thinking of switching out the hammer, though, for something a little easier to move, so I can get some of this mobility going. Maybe put that point in. Alright, and then I'm just going to be back. Just one moment, please. Just need to take care of something.
that's fine. Alrighty, back now. Thank you very much. Alright, so. Okay to you. We're about to go live. Three, two, one. Alright, Takamura is really desperate. Alrighty, let's... Let, we're almost there, actually. Um... Ah, oh, Wakoko can get... I'm gonna call her Wakoko. Koko. Same as ever. Yeah, it's, Judy's plan is still really half-baked. Thank you. Actually, I want to see. Um, let's do a little bit of crafting. I mean, I can craft the baseball bat. I mean, I'd rather have a look, though, at melee weapon stores and see what I can find. Maybe, um, Coach Fred's got something. I haven't been back there in a while, but I would like to have a look. Alright, well, we're here. I actually want to go to... Mega Building H10 Atrium. I want to see if Coach Fred's got anything. Otherwise, I'll... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go back and pick up... I might pick up the pimp cane from the cache. Welcome to N54. Alright, open up. Open stash. There it is. Now, let's go to the backpack. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a katana. It's a iconic katana. I have no idea. Oh, it must be the one that I picked up from Oda. While well, optical camo is active, all hits are critical. Allows you to leap towards your target. Increases damage against elite enemies. That's pretty good, all things considered. All right, disassemble, 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 and then guns. All right, I think I just break down all of these weapons now, yeah. Now, uh, modifications.
Don't think there's anything that I want really... F unless it's like a melee weapon mod. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Shotgun mods. Shoddy mod. Airstrike. Cyclone. I'll hold on to those two, actually. And what we'll do is we'll stash that plus Satori and Nahan. So we'll keep the pimp cane on. Close my door. And we're just going to quickly stop by Coach Fred. What do you got for sale? So, Tier 5 Baseball Bat. Tier 5 electric baton. It's like baseball bat or baton. Yeah, uh, two-ended club. All right, I'm going to see if upgrading the club actually does anything. Upgrades. All right. And now if we go here, we'll compare. Can I buy that? And I might buy this. Oh, hold on. No, I don't need any of that. Let your 
So if I went crafting and I went to craft a melee weapon. Okay, so I can craft a two-handed baseball bat. Inventory. Hold on. So I'll go upgrades. No, hold on. How do we do this? If we put the bat on... And then we can put the mods on. Alright, I think that's everything. Maybe this will feel a little bit better. I mean, I don't know how well the um the crafted bat's gonna go, but we'll find out. We'll go here and then we'll make our way back up to where um Takamura is. Let's see what's next in his harebrained scheme. I'll be honest though, his schemes are a little bit more successful than Judy's. Sure, let's uh, take some civilians and put chips in their heads that simulate cyberpsychosis. Mind you, this, what Takamura's done is going to go so horribly wrong. Like, we can just see it. Nothing in there. Are you okay? Oh. Well, I don't know if that helps Takamura or not, but you know, pretty clubbins. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, somewhere around here as well is a tarot card. Looks like it's all up here. Uh, is... Do we go up another level, or what? Yeah, we do. Well, well, well. The High Priestess. And now... Tell me what the fuck you were thinking. I used the sedative. She tried to enable her tracker. I had no choice. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea. Yes, she respectfully declined. 
The chip keeps malfunctioning. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama, Kare ga rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. I was there that night at Kampeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama. I apologize only Street to kid. Oh, shut up, Goro. You're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief. But I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. And now I got Johnny fucking Silverhand in there, and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose, but you got lots. Hanako-sama, he is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks, if only you will help him with the relic. Yeah, like, I, I didn't want Johnny out of my head, to be fair. Hear that? Go and check. This is not gonna go well. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, this has gone really good, hasn't it? Alright. Hold on. If Takamura's dead. Hell no, I want his clothes. Ah! How do I get up there? Come on! There we go! Wait, Takamura is alive? What the hell? You should not have a return. You will die here with me. Thank me later. We need to find a way out now. Fast. Your empty rooms to the right. It's our only chance. Wait, he's alive. Bloody Johnny's like again. Okay. Again. This is why I want Johnny out of my head. How am I supposed to get his clothes? How am I supposed to get Takamura's clothes if Takamura is alive? Damn it! Damn it, how am I supposed to get Takamura's clothes now? And there's too many bodies lying around.
Uh, which way are we supposed to go? Excuse me. Reloading. All right, we're meant to go this way. Are we supposed to drop down? It looks like we're supposed to drop down. Yeah, this has gone a bit harebrained, and I couldn't even get Takamura's clothes. What the hell? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, where are we? Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? ACs busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. And why am I holding a what shoddy? A motel in the middle of nowhere. Johnny. Oh. Yeah. Shut your gonk mouth, please. Saying random shit ain't gonna help anyone. How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying now we're out. we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro... Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Saw him yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. Johnny, just tell me who it is. I bet he's trying to get me the blast Goro or something. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. I know you're in there. Are you asleep? Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad. But... Hanako, that you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Oh, Yet bloody! Yet had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Any word from Goro? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. 
That is all you need to know at this time. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already? Is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I... ...obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here? Talking? Is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi. Mikoshi? One of yeah, Mikoshi, we're getting projects. pointed to Mikoshi a bit. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely conceal me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. Oh, okay. So we would have to have done all the those Cunningham. parts anyway. The very same who invented Soul Killer. Using her modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? So we would have had to have gone done the voodoo boy thing. Would have had to go and help Panem and get Let us all meet that. in person. At Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. That's my job done. You know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads barging here. We got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanako was living in a world that was completely safe for her. What she got on her hands now? A foreign city, a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. That's why she sent a proxy. Johnny is she's like... alone. Yeah, uh, no. And she's shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. Johnny, you just had really bad relationships with women. Not my fault you couldn't stop thinking with your lower ends. What's up? You got a few more words about the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Alright, what? Oh. Uh, uh, Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Jeez Louise, what's... Like, it's getting really bad now, the relic. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. All right, what if we just Pacific's beautiful this time of day? Are those our pills? Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. 
You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in the Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pista Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizine in your hand. Remember. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? So Got Johnny slapped some of the your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> Did you want to pop the pill? Coolier Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. Had doubts. Just when you were gonna drop them, your conscience poked you in the gut. So Johnny Silverhand's got a conscience after all. Christ, can we just drop it? Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. Ah, oh, we're barely making it through the window. That qualifies. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. yours they were belong to you now huh? huh 50 years back mexican conflict when i was a young piss brain like you i enlisted with a corp army was in mexico when i realized that no matter the conflict corps always win ordinary people always lose so that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <laughs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? Uh, interesting question. It's not a dumb question. It's not sure. Let's get out of here. I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. Kind gesture, I guess. But you can't really give me something I already have. Body's mine. Always has been. It's my decision. Not Let's not intruders. talk on it anymore, for now, okay? I mean, yeah, it is our body, ultimately. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? You got a better got idea? A better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher, fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. That your dying wish. Revenge. It's more than that. And I'll need you to take Rogue with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. Not sure Rogue's so sentimental. Not sure Rogue's a sentimental type. 
We haven't had mm. much dealing. Bitter bitch these days said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out. I promise. Alright. Tell me what you plan. I know exactly what you plan to do. What are you up to, I'll Johnny? I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, Satan kicked me out of hell. Thought I'd swing by. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Need to think about need it. Need to think it over. Sure, thanks. This is important to me, V. Just get me to the afterlife and hop in the back seat for a bit. That's all. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. Have you spent at least 100 euro dollars? The hotel pissed to Sophia. Is that right? Mm hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. So that's tape worm. And we're in act three. Wow. Yeah, so Pan Am's thing. The thing for the Voodoo Boys and this one. Oh, we're up to 40% and we're only at 25. I'm guessing this hasn't gone up because we've like really sort of been opposed to leaning in with Johnny. Even though some of the responses have been uh, like Johnny sided, it's not that Johnny sided. Recharge speed for health items and grenades. We only need level one. Yeah, I, I might just get level 1 Pyromania just for the increased speed. That's it. This would be kind of cool though, just like a full item build running around and then... Anyway, we're in Pacifica. Alright, let's see what jobs we can do. Um, I still wouldn't mind doing this. Oh, no, actually, we'll do some of the side quest jobs. Because if we're now in Act 3, we're starting to push towards end game. So, we'll go... Yeah, we'll do some of the side quests stuff. See what else we can learn and pick up around the place. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I, the part that I'm most sad about is the fact that I couldn't get Takamura's clothes. I thought he would legitimately be dead. But... Damn it. I'm gonna be honest, the way the shirt looks, you put them in a coat, it looks so nice.
Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. All right. Huh? You ain't got no smoke, Bill. Wakako sent me. Is that the Okada lady? Did she tell you how this is supposed to happen? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. Well, there's your smoke. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. <sighs> Fine. You should drive, you lazy bum. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! Oh, jeez, they fast. Stay on him. Don't let him get away. Your car's terrible. I tell you what, it steers really badly. And that vehicle keeps rubber banding as well. Wow. Why tied us to a driving mission with such a terrible vehicle to control? Look, you could see all of the things coming flying out. These are all meant to be like the the hazards, but oh, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Nah, nah, we're stuck. This, this, it, like, I don't think this is the way this quest is meant to go. Fuck! Bastard's gone! Got away! What do you want? Beat it! Get the fuck out! You're useless! Let me try that again. Like, actually getting stuck in a ditch. But, oh, this car, I tell you. That vehicle controls so poorly. It's, like, really, really bad. There's no way to describe it. It's just, it's so slippery. All right, let's try loading a previous save. Might have to go back to this one. I mean... This guy, Bill, he spent his life savings on this job. He should have spent a bit more money tuning up the control of his car. Alright, well. We'll just jump down here. We're fine. Uh, ch 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 journal. <laughs> then we go here again. We'll try all of this one more time.
I love that. Be slippery. Slide, hide, move around, avoid taking damage. And here I am with this build just running face first into things and uh, tanking the damage. By the way, I want to see if I can change... Unequip that. Got Johnny's tank top. Now we got the shirt there. Nah. I mean, you could if you wanted to go with that sort of look, but we'll go back to what we originally had. Actually... Yeah, because we can't see the tank top underneath. Oh, you sort of see, but not really. Yeah, now let's stick with this look. Alright, let's pick up another upgrade here. I want to grab... 15% faster. Health item use. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. All right, let's just drop a quick save here. Huh? Bukako sent me. Is that the Okada lady? Did she tell you how this is supposed to happen? My info is I'm supposed to op- Alright, 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 alright. Let's do this again. Whoa. So... Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. Uh, I'm... I define ordinary. Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Plan sound. What's that? First up. That. Yeah, oh, this is so bad. Stay on him. Don't let him get away. Someone's going to come flying around there. See, look, it's a slight turn and it's going to spin so wildly. Watch out! Oh, ah, oh, this is. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try and stay cool here. I'm gonna try and stay calm.
I, we're hitting 80. And 80 is this vehicle's max speed. Oh, this is... This mission... All right, all right, all right. Deep breath. In. Out. Yeah, so I think I'm getting a, a sense of what the vehicles are like. When the vehicle starts hitting its max speed, the, the controls really start sliding. This vehicle is garbage. Its max speed is like 80, and that's when it starts sliding around the place. Add to that the random flying cars. Huh? So, this is like... I feel like I'm playing Disney on Ice or something here. So... Someone's going to come flying out this way. Then you'll... Oh! Watch out! Fuck! Alright, and if you end up in combat, they automatically get away. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. When this mission's done, I'm taking my stick and I'm hitting Bill with- You know what? I can't even... the first one. Vehicle flight out. Oof. Then this go guy. Then this one. Fuck. All right. Stabilized out here. I swear, all I need now is like for the the metro train to just fly out of nowhere. Fuck! Break! I said, break! This is it. Let's go. It's 
Stay close. I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right! Let's just all shoot holes in each other! Crying out loud? Fuck! We can't leave him here! Media vultures will be here any minute! The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! What the heck is going on? We take him with us. What? You, you want me to come oh, with you? Oh, God. <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word from you and I am calling the studio. Don't make Gregor. me ruin your career. Busted an attempted hit. Nobody. On the guy. And I mean nobody. Yeah. One can harm a hair on Bill your Jablonski. head. No problem. Just, uh, we'll run a deep sweep just to be sure. Borrowing you. Thanks. Uh, I owe you. No patrol cars. This? And stay off the frequencies too. Can't have What's your name? Back. V. This. Josh Stevens. What a fucking mess. Are you probably knew that already. Did you drop it, dickhead? Your associate. What was his name? It? Bill We're clear to go. Boys from the precinct will mop up here. Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some pop. Johnny, what are you on about? You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Gotta object strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, move it. We're running late. I, I like. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Uh. You could say that. Yeah. Sure. Then you will understand exactly what I'm and trying to do. And your mouth's not moving. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Uh, why'd you shoot him? Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before I... <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. So, uh, any reason you're telling me this? why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Uh, no still have no idea. <laughs> Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. You could try taming Vasquez. Try Vasquez. Vasquez. You can probably get him to speak if you dangle a dog treat in front of his nose. Go fuck yourself. Vasquez sees me as nothing but a liar. Scum that should have been fried in the electric chair. You're the one I want to talk to. Okay, uh, sure, Just why till not? The end of the day. Till the end of the day. 
I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. Like this is a Almost heck of Gloria LMRs. This is a heck of a wild ride. I have no Give me idea. A moment. I need to prepare. Uh, Vasquiki, are you okay? You need some uh, WD forty Basket for your foot break. Keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. All right. Well, let's see what we do here. Rancho Coronado. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleka. Uh, nice v. to meet you, Pleasure. I guess. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? A recent acquaintance, more like. Recent acquaintance. More like. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. So that's your memorial shrine for someone who's passed away. Joshua, are you responsible for that Please, one? Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? Oh, glass of water. Please. See another shrine over here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Uh, Joshua found redemption? Because of you? Found redemption. It was her letter that started everything i lost a brother god gave me another uh yeah it's kind of hard Not every day you run into a true believer in night uh, you'd imagine religion would it play a very little role you under my roof we met this is interesting I'm, I'm gonna talk probably me, afterwards v, do you believe in god uh could be some higher power For all i know there could be a higher power out there but nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can prove. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I never agreed to anything like this. Uh, let's drink some water. Uh, oh, cool. We can use it to buy some time. I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. Uh, care to explain? What exactly is going on here, Josh? When the media learned I'd found God in prison... The next day, my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. <laughs> Bloodsuckers. I was facing the electric chair. Now, 
with the studio's help. My death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other. Just garbed in holy robes. Uh, what? What the? Why, why the brain, brain dance? Brain dance? What, okay. What's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. Okay. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child. My son. Let's go back to the car. Okay, so Josh is basically going to publicly show his own death. This is... Okay. So, yeah, so the idea of religion in a dystopian future in a sort of like you know dystopian future like this very true that you would find that the the necessities of living in a corporate life or well in a cyberized life would probably result in the diminishing of religious belief in its own way just wish i could have talked to gloria you know explained everything you know, somehow i thought you know, I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me time to grab a bite to eat I mean, who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. <sighs> you, you like a baby. In virtue of your crucifixion. Ugh, yes, really. You'll be kicking up a shitstorm. Haters gonna hate. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Yeah. Right, we've had two encounters with religion. We had the first one way back with the monks. You, you know, the, the ones who believe in pacifism at all costs. And then uh, accidentally inside, killed one of them. Table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Ooh. Ooh, that was a bit awkward. And now this one. But it's true, you don't want to do the... You don't want to overdo the, the religious questing. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? I can't quite make up my Honestly. mind. Can't rightly make my mind up about him. Let me help you out. 
Stevenson's a very disturbed man whose obsession with guilt is driving him to the brink of insanity. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain, composed entirely of cat shit at this point, he truly believes what he says. Thank you. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm. And one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. Uh, no way. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. I, I, let's see this through to the end. This quest has gone on for a while. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. I'm grown curious how this will all end. Pretty much, yeah. Just... In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. Though who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. All right, let's go in. Uh, grab a seat. Yeah, you don't see too much of the religious questing, or the quests with religious overtones or undertones. You even think about making a break for Your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so he's so got himself a stake? Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him then. The studio majority stakeholder's a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. Crystal Palace. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long. We can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. Yeah, what's your part in all this? You get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They'd originally opted for John. Guess that's, uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. So, what are you trying to convey to the world? What does he want to convey, exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. What do you... Relax, Rachel. You want to do to relax? Yes, why? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. Wow, Rachel. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Oh. Didn't take you for one with the spiritual side. You being, well, you. Know what your problem is, all of you? Tips are a little you flat. You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. 
And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Uh... Back off me, okay? And maybe you should fuck off, huh? You're not part of our group? Fury! Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you... get lost. I'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Okay. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? The guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Rage! Fury! Target! I just feel bad for him. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seemed to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real Rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside. <laughs> okay. If you save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me, please. Come on. Serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. My name is Jeff. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche. Possible consequences thereof. Really? Alright, now we start to get into the philosophy of digital constructs versus what a digital construct might be compared to a soul. Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Ascend to digi hell is more likely. But yeah, there is life after death. Silverhand already live in the afterlife, and I'm talking to his animated epitaph. I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No nether world, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psychics. Mr. Whitey here, drop that milk. Truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make? Messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. <laughs> One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them, pop them right between the eyes. Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. Kaboom! All right, let's go. An explosion of taste. Interesting. Yeah, Wakako's jobs are always terrible as well. Let's see what other quest. Oh, what other things we can do. We can meet Hanako. We can do that. Alright, I'm going to go back though to her and I want to get my money that she owes me all the way from the start of the game. Alright, uh, this one here. Goldsmith Street, which should be Jig Jig.
Let's see what's good. Take your pick. All right, what do we have access to? All right, yeah, the stabber. Oh, I like that. Uh, although it's not really that helpful unless I've got blunt weapons. Still, it is... I mean, it is 2.9% melee damage and health item recharge speed. Arms. Mantis blades. No, we don't really need any of these. Mono wires. Thermal projections. Mantis blades. Gorilla arms. We don't really... Gendo, not, no, no. I mean, okay, that's got 2.9% melee damage attached to it. It's the, the Mantis Blades there. That's about the same cost. Twenty percent melee attack speed. I've already got one. No oh oh Adrenaline booster maybe? I think I'm pretty capped out, though. I can't really get anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, sure, I can upgrade some stuff. From Cassius Rider's Ripper Dock Shop Inventory. So there's a free item somewhere here. Okay, it's not there. I will find this. It should be something, right?
No, no, no. That's the one. Okay. Now I see what it was. Alright. Um... Now, where does this take me to? Ooh, that's pretty bad. Might fast travel to Arasaka Tower. Okay. Yeah, that's the Valentino's. Um, I think we have to go around the building. Yeah, it looks like it's down there. Now, we're going to meet up with Elizabeth Perales. And there's still someone else we're waiting for a call for as well. Oh, what was that? That was a gunshot. Step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Perales? <laughs> the one running for mayor of Night City. The one? So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. All right, what are we... Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. Yeah, he was in Arasaka. You want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Rhine a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. I'm claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. 
If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps oh, yeah, when you slash the police budget, you could expect the coppers case, to just get on. the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today. Or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Alrighty. All right. uh, let's see what we can do with see this thing. I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Alright, I don't... Not quite sure about this one, but let's see what we've got. Now, whose perspective are we from? The mayor's? Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Alright, let's... Hold on, let's remember our controls. What do we have here? Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. All right, let's switch layer. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. <laughs> okay, that's good. You're allowed to say you don't have a clue. What do we have that we might be able to scan? The doorway over here. Left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. You gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Which is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could. Oh, thank goodness for that. Alright, let's switch layer. Trying to find sound. Pretty. 
Dream. Do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. All right. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Right? Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well. Okay, so Chief of Security's done. Ooh. That's so the cop might have been in on it. thoughts did you uh, see anything suspicious anything at all or are we paranoid all things stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July huh so suspicions confirmed any questions at this point um Ray Queen's race what is it got me never heard of it sorry Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. Alright, alright. So we've got I a couple recall, of potential clues. Again, yeah, mostly the violent crime that NCPD. Was excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Okay. Mayor's hustle. The NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Okay. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I know you tried. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. Don't walk. All right. 
I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be they stat. Okay. That's back again where we are. Chubby Buffaloes is this way. Might finish up this quest and then wrap things up. Yeah, yeah, we'll finish up this job. Or, I call it a quest, but it's called a job, you know. Same difference. I have to admit, some of these ones are... Like, the, the side job material is... Well, it, it, no, you can't call it side job because that's a different thing. These small jobs are surprisingly interesting. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. Your partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. Do you really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Are you getting what you want? Alrighty. Well, he's okay. a nice guy. Talk. Rusty water from the tap. Another murder outside your... For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Send the word space to... Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, All right, sure. let's do this. Right now. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of space. Oh, this looks like a different game, but I can't play it. Oh, boo. Oh, another person with the Jackie walk. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he's got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. All right, How's so Cyber Psycho's fallen off the face of the map. Someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Um. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? Uh, Red, Red Queen's, Queen's race. race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. See, I was we'll confidential informant. Worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. 
Uh, let's, let's go see your informer. Yeah. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. And we'll skip the ride. Oh, away we go. Vista del Vista del Rey. Oh, this is a bit of a drive. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. Okay. All right. Wait here then. So let's pop in. Anything interesting for sale? See a couple. Oh, hold on, hold on. Game. Thank you. So we've got the yo yo latex suits. Ah, uh, yep. And this is definitely for S and M. If that's what you're into, all the more better. Okay. Shouldn't have taken a look that way. This is a little of this. General inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. Alright. I will just rip the door open. Oh, he's running. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. Fingers? I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right. Jesus. Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Oh, right. The street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't all right, all right. drop. Might as well. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car? Sure. Sure. Thanks. I mean, it's a free ride. So, muscle car over here. So, we've got one seedy little hidden club in the outskirts. And possibly another lead to follow up. Still no closer, though, to finding out what sort of... Uh, any sort of idea about what really happened. We've, we still know the cyber psycho who got shot had a supposed meeting with the mayor. But did die. Like, Reese over here killed him. of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tax this time? Ask questions first. Are we okay? And the other 10%. What's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, me. Ah. Uh. Ah. You know what my favorite game is? Hide and kill. Help! Help! 
I think we might be stuck. <laughs> Reese, can I um get out? This is wild. Uh, okay, we're gonna try loading a previous save. All right, all right, we're going to try this again. Hopefully this time without the uh, the whole getting stuck in combat thing. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's in. Okay. We're gonna take. Shoot. All right. Let's try this one more time. And we'll skip the ride. Oh yeah, we're in combat again. Good ninety percent of any detective's job is talking. <laughs> We're actually <laughs> Ask questions first, then level threats. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyberpsycho's boss, you said? <laughs> Christine Markov, forty-two. File has <laughs> Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Soul contact too, actually. You're gonna get Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, you talk about pretending to not get out of here alive, but you know, I can't even get out of the car. We're stuck. Like, these people can't even aim properly as well. Okay. Yep. We're just hitting the same wall over and over. Okay. I don't think there's much I can do. Just like rapidly driving into the wall. Well, well, that's what I call Mark. Okay. Better me. Fine with.
This is probably the safer way to go. Ow! That was worth a shot. Okay. Anything I can pick up around here? Anything? this way. Nice little footpath that they've got going on. What places need to embrace this sort of thing with like the neon lighting down on the, the footpaths? Can we go? Oi! You ran into oh. me. Running, running, running. Got a little bit further to go. We're fine. We're fine. So where are the guys coming from? The ones who are like super aggressive. Ooh, oh, okay. Talk to Cybercycle's boss, you said? 
Chris... Soul contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. I didn't leave the area that long. Okay, you, got you, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? No, nope. no, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I'll open your mouth one day and Corpo Muscle or Gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Hmm. Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Huh. What about anyone else? Who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. All right, what are we thinking? So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. Don't think we learned much of anything new. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. Neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. <laughs> Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill. Please. <laughs> Jump, clown. Jump! Oh, well, they asked me to jump. Watch your fucking wheels, pig. Oh, they asked me to jump. Walking the streets with you, downright unsafe. 
Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. We're at Queen's Race now. Wanna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. Let's see what this club has to offer. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you? Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. San Amaro Street, which is right there. Uh, we got a call coming in? Oh, he's just dialing in on the line. Fuck off! Nothing to see here. Just want to go inside. Don't want any bad blood with animals. Well, that's a fucking relief. Because if you did, I'd have to fuck you up myself. And I ain't in the mood. So we can go in. You can delta the fuck off. All right, well, I guess we're going up on the roof. Oh. Thank you. Force open the gate. What else are we dealing with in here? Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Tell him you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that. Alright, what else are we dealing with inside? There's another guy there. And another guy downstairs.
All right, let me local network. Turn off the cameras. Oh, wow. CrossFit, one hour, 200 pitch shots, 2K run. Tuesday intervals, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Wednesday, no time to get a real workout in, just 500 push-ups. Job's terrible. Don't know why we're hanging around. Alpha sitting downstairs, we just wander around. Nobody knows how long we're here for. Nothing except for some scop supplements. Tonya says the stuff will make you grow boobies. Don't want to grow. Yeah. We can see him there. He's doing full patrol. All right. Can I open that? No, I cannot.
Alright, we need to try and find a way probably down into the basement. Now that's the door I came in from. That's the way back out. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit explosive. That's a nice clear pathway out of here again. Still not exactly sure. Where this club is meant to be. Unless it's here. Come on, call the elevator. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. All right, don't care. Okay. All right. Oh, it's just nice being able to rip in your way through things.
Anyone up the top? So someone's taken up a position up there. <sighs> Wish I had a way forward from here. Can I see you? There you are. I wonder how this would go with like a setup with like optical camo. You two have fun.
That. Another one for sleepy time. Be fine, should be fine. All right, we've got one person up there. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. What? Comps above all. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it! Oh, we're fucking waiting! For what? Till they sent us the scratch for a job well done! Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the pay up! Who'd you smash it up for? What's it to you? you? Might be able to speed up your payment. Shit! The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow Scott like that? Yeah, I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him? I get him, you'll get what you're owed. First, I gotta know we're talking about the same ass munch. Weldon! Oh! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fucking for the Alright, so it was Holt. Thanks for the help. Don't worry, you'll live. Messages. Scratch. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. 
Uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. We're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Alright, let's get out of here. Done. Alright, uh, pretty stock standard stuff with that one. So, yeah, dirty cops. Uh, 2IC wanting to be 1IC. Uh, I mean, it's the one cop who's trying to do the right thing covers uncovers the mystery. And now you've got to make a tough choice. What do you do? 9.3 Radio Wechselstrom, the voice of the machine. Hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. Rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others but always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Ryan was an asshole, but an asshole who got shit done. I remember what it was like before he was elected. Mm, okay. I also remember who stopped the Militech Panzers when the NUSA tried to annex Night City. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or get some sleep find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. So, what is your plan now? Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't we'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. 
oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Chicken this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. All right. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. All right. Good luck, River. In the meanwhile, we need to go all the way over to here. Otherwise, it looks like we're almost there. We just got to cash in on the, um, well, we'll talk to the paralysis and see what they say. All right, this way. Fancy digs, though, to be fair. I got the penthouse level. Just gonna tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one. But all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give him something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hmm. Hello, V. Please come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Yeah, so there's one other possibility with this quest that could be explored, and that is somehow that the paralysis are actually the people involved, and then they want to frame Halt in order to try and get all of that. You know, try to become the mayor. Please have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. I think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. You're right. As always. You're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Oh, hold up. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Now, nope, we're not going to be able to listen in. We leave the safe zone.
And what do you think are the odds that we'll get a message from, like, Han saying, Hey, Ward's dead. And done. Alright, alright. So with that, you know, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, some, some of the side quests continue to be interesting. Um, really kind of curious what happens with uh, Joshua Peterson in the end. What happens with River Ward. That glitch with the, um, the fast travel, that was funny. Alright. Let's have a look what kind of quests we can do. We're still waiting for this. I'm not sure why we haven't been contacted yet. Still more cyber psychos hanging around. Still more tarot cards. I still could do street racing. Still could go help out Pam. And we could do this. Pisces. Alright. Last thing we'll do. Put the levels up in. That's RAM recovery rate. Smart weapons. None of that's really relevant. Hmm. And then, uh, technical ability. I thought I put a point in Pyromania. No, that's right. The, um... Now I've got the point in Pyromania. Alright. So... Still a couple more side quests we can do. I get the feeling that as we push towards the end of this main quest stuff, where we talk to Rogue as Johnny, as we talk to Hanako, as we maybe talk to Panem, depend, depends on what's happening. I think maybe once those start getting done, I get the feeling that they, you hit the point of like no return, as you call it. You know, once you go to this location, you're in the end game, sort of thing. Which is not bad, but there's a little bit more that I'd like to try and explore with some of Night City. Just to get a feel around the place, see what else I might be able to find. I don't think I'm going to spend forever going 100%ing this game, doing all side quests, getting all items. we got to leave some stuff for later on when I eventually decide to get Phantom Liberty. But maybe the start of next stream... Just do a couple of the side quests, see what had happened. If I, I might do Pisces, I might do Panams. And then from there, we'll see how things are going. Might then probably just bounce over to talking to Hanako, talking to Rogue. Eventually getting towards that point of no return. And see which way I might want to go. Because I'm still not sure how I want to go about with the ending of the game. It's kind of odd. It's like... I guess we'll see what options come up. Like, who I might team up with at the end of the game. When it comes to... I get the feeling we're going to have to try and go to Mikoshi and get... 
it gets sorted out there. And the game's sort of leaning towards that side of, you know, hey, you're going to team up with some people to do it. Do what Johnny did. You're going to form your own crew. Going to go in, raid the place, knock heads, come out smelling like roses. But we'll find out. So, with that said, I'll wrap things up here. Tomorrow will be Fallout 4. Uh, try and again finish up with... Trying to finish up with the um, automatron. That'd be nice. If I can not get punched out by robots. But with that said, I'll wrap things up here. As always, if you've been watching along or you're watching after the fact, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. 